Hi, this is CADCAM Lessons channel and in this video we will discuss radial array in plasticity. I will start a new project and create a cylinder. Define the starting point at the origin of the coordinate system, which activates the snap, so click the left mouse button. Then to specify a diameter for the cylinder, press the tab key and type in 100 millimeters, then press enter to confirm. Now define the height of the cylinder. In this case, the tab key won't work, so press the D key and type in 10 millimeters here. Regarding the commands we can use while creating some geometry, these commands are listed here. If you are creating some geometry in plasticity, we have keyboard shortcuts for commands in the lower corner that may be useful at that moment. In this case, when I wanted to set the height of this cylinder, the keyboard shortcut D allows me to do this, so I press D and specify the height of the cylinder. Then enter to confirm and enter again to confirm the creation of the cylinder. And ok, we have such a solid. And now we will create another cylinder. Choose this command and create a cylinder here. I clicked the left mouse button when the snap was here. I press tab, type 10, enter. And now I would like to specify the height of this cylinder. I would like it to be done downwards. However, as you see, when I make the cylinder downwards, the material removal command is selected by default. In this case, I would like this cylinder to be a new body. Therefore, I check the commands here. We have the new body command under the letter B. I press B and a new body is created. Next, I press D to specify the height of this cylinder. Enter minus 10, press enter, enter and we have created such a cylinder. Now I will temporarily turn off the visibility of this larger cylinder and choose to create another one. For the starting point I choose the center of this solid. I press tab, diameter 15, enter, height minus 5 and I press the B key so that it is a new body, enter to confirm. I got a little ahead because I don't want this to be a new body. I would like it to be merged into one solid with the previous cylinder. We have the command under the letter Q. I press the Q and the new cylinder will be joined with the previous one. I press enter to confirm. And we have created something like this. Now I turn on the visibility of this larger cylinder and I move this cylinder. I select the move command or press the G key on the keyboard. Then I would like to move it only along the X axis. So I press the X key on the keyboard and enter the displacement length of minus 15 millimeters. I press enter, enter and in this way we have moved this cylinder so that it is inside this solid. Now based on this solid we will create a radial array. The radial array command is available here. Of course you can also search for it in the command list. We have the radial array command. Let's choose this command. In the first step, we define the center point of this array, which is the point around which the radial array will be made. In this case, I would like this to be this point, the center of the cylinder or the origin of the coordinate system. In this case, it doesn't matter which point we choose, because the array created around this point and around this point will give the same effect. Select this point and now we define the parameters of the radial array. Here we have the angle value, which is the angle at which the radial array will be performed. If I type for example 180 degrees here, the array will be made in this way. Next we have the number of elements and this number of elements will be distributed over such an angle. Here I will return to the angle of 360 degrees and set the number of elements to 8. 
And as for the repeat parameter, I will change this value to 3 and set the repeat distance to 100 so that this value is a bit smaller. And it looks like this. Here I will go back to 1 and OK, accept the radial array in this form and we created something like this. Note that each of these solids is a separate solid and when we use arrays, whether it is a radial array or rectangular array, there may be a situation where we have a lot of these solids here and to manage the project we can group selected solids together. To do this, click this icon and now these elements are in one folder. We can change the name of this folder, to do this double click here with the left mouse button and we can type the name of this group of elements here. Now if you would like to select all elements from this group, just click here with the left mouse button. And now I would like to create holes in this larger solid based on these solids. And to do this, hold down the control key and select this solid. Then I have the control key pressed, click the left mouse button here to select those elements that were created in the radial array. And choose the boolean operation. We can press the Q key on the keyboard and here select operation type as difference and click OK. And in this way we created holes in this solid and note that the solids based on which the holes were made have been removed. In this case that was my goal, that's what I wanted to achieve. If you wanted to keep such solids you should create a copy of those solids. Let me show you how to do this. Here I will press Ctrl plus Z to undo. I have returned to the stage where these solids are available. I select all these solids, press Ctrl plus C and press Ctrl plus V. A new group has been created here. I click this button to create a group of elements based on these solids and just in case we have a copy of these solids. And now to create holes in this larger solid, select this larger solid and select the group of elements with the control key. Press the Q key on the keyboard and press enter to confirm. Now we have created a solid with holes, but those holes are not visible because the visibility of the elements of this group is enabled. And to turn off the visibility of the elements of this group, click this icon. These elements are still in the project, but they are not visible. This is how we can approach this if you want to use some boolean operation based on solids, but you don't want to lose the original solids. We can make copy of those solids and group them into a folder and then those solids will remain in the project just in case and will not be deleted. And regarding the radial array operation, we can perform a radial array based on several elements. In a moment I will show you this with an example. I will set the top view here and create a rectangle. Select a rectangle from center and let's draw a rectangle whose center will lie at this point. Click here with the left mouse button. Press the tab key, type 5mm. Then tab key again and type 5 here, press enter and I will turn off the visibility of this solid and now I will switch to vertex selection. Select all vertices and press the B key on the keyboard to add fillets to these vertices. And let's add a fillet of for example 1 mm. So I press the D key and type 1. Press enter and enter again and OK. Based on such a rectangle, let's create a solid. And I will show you an interesting option. I will turn on the visibility of this solid, switch to face selection. 
I press the free key on the keyboard and select this rectangle and here I drag this rectangle by some value and at this moment I remember that this solid had a height of 10 millimeters. however situations may arise where you don't know the exact value. Then we can approach this in such a way that we add an extrusion of any distance, accept this and now I select this face again here the offset command has been activated and I gently drag this symbol so as to add another part of this solid. Then with the left mouse button I click on this face so that the extrusion is done to this face. I will undo this, press Ctrl plus Z to return to the moment where there is just the rectangle. I select this geometry, drag it gently down accept this, then select this face, drag it gently down and with the left mouse button click on this face and press enter to confirm. In this way we created this solid which has the same height as this solid. This can be useful in situations where you don't know the exact dimensions of the solid. And ok, we have such a solid and now based on this solid I will create a radial array. I will turn off the visibility of this flat geometry. Here the offset face command was selected, press escape to cancel this command. I select this solid, select the radial array command. As the center of the radial array select this point and here as an angle enter 45 degrees and as the number of elements enter 5. In this way we created an array of 5 elements at an angle of 45 degrees. Press enter to confirm and I have several elements here. These elements are selected and based on these elements I can create another radial array. If you want you can add these elements to a group but it's not necessary. I have 5 elements selected and again choose the radial array command. Define the center of the radial array and here define the angle. In this case we will add a radial array at an angle of 360 degrees and set the number of elements to 5 and click OK. In this way we created such a radial array and in this case as all these elements are selected I think it's worth creating a group of elements to have those elements grouped just in case. Now if you would like to cut these elements from this solid select this solid and with the control key select this group of elements, select the boolean command, here select difference and click OK. And in this way we created such a solid. But of course the purpose of this lesson was not to create this solid, but I wanted to show you how the radial array command works. And that's all for today, thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.